All right, let's talk about how to bring in a sound using Atom in Studio One. I'm using version 5.2, uh, but this should work from Studio One 4.1 onward, basically. So the first thing you wanna do is hit the setup button in the upper left-hand corner. That's gonna to change to our setup mode for Studio One, essentially. Um, you'll notice that pad 13 is your browser. So if I tap on that, you'll see in Studio One that the browser's now open, uh, the instruments panel specifically is open. So I can tap my pad here and it's gonna open and close that. Now I can use my navigation buttons here on the right-hand side to move up or down. Uh, if I have a really long list, the button right above browser, excuse me, the knob right above browser will allow me to go through here quickly. Now, there's one thing I wanna cover really quick before we move to the next part. And that goes um, basically how you, how you see the browser over here on the right-hand side. So we have different tree modes. So if you click on these three little lines right here, um, you, this is the more traditional, if you've used Studio 1.4, this is what Studio 1.4 looks like. So as I go through here on um, Atom and move up or down, I can use the right navigation button to open up an arrow and the left navigation button to close an arrow. And I used to use that all fine and well, but um, I forget what version they introduced it in, but with the new mode, which is this kind of folder mode, uh, I much prefer it because I can see everything uh, that's labeled and dive in and out of folders, basically. So uh, if I wanted to, I can go to Personas here and I can hit the left or right buttons. Right will dive me into a folder, left will back me out of a folder. So I'm gonna go into the Personas folder. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna use a UVI plugin. So let's go to UVI, open this up, and I'll just use this UVI workstation, and I'm gonna select um, basic dry. So once I find what I want, I have my select button here, I hit it, uh, simply the browser window will close, and you'll see your instrument here uh, in Studio One. So now, I can play this. now. For those of you that are familiar with Studio One 5, you might notice that the color scheme has changed for uh, keyboard mode. Um, it was all white to match the Atom SQ, and then as of 5.2, uh, we've actually gone through and dimmed the quote-unquote black keys on a piano. So the bright notes are the white keys, and the dim notes are basically the black keys. Um, but I'll save that scales and all that stuff for a different video. So you see we brought in um, UVI uh, Model D right here, and we can play it. Uh, these pads 15 and 16 change octaves. And um, lots of other tricks that we can do. Once again, I'll cover that in a different video. So that's how you load in uh, an instrument or a sound. Um, really quick, I'm gonna hit the Show Hide button to hide the uh, instrument editor. I'm gonna go back into my browser really quick and I'm gonna navigate this time over to my note effects. So I'm gonna go up here to note effects. I'm gonna go right to go into a folder and I'm going to pick the arpeggiator. So I'm just going to hit uh, select to go through and load that arpeggiator. So now I've got the arpeggiator on uh, this track with the piano. Okay. And whatever plugin is in focus, that means whatever plugin is, is up front, uh, it's gonna be controlled by the knobs up here at the top. So if I turn this knob, um, you see I have it set to turn hold on or off. So I wanna turn hold on, this means uh, I can just hit some notes and it'll continue playing, or I can shut that off. So let's do this. And then I can use my other knobs to change the fixed mode and change my velocity here, or shut it off. If I wanna to go to a different bank of controls, I hold down bank and my up, down, left, right is bank one, two, three, and four. So I can go to bank one, try this again. Oh, let me go over here, sorry. Let's turn this on. That's what I meant to do. Come back over here. And you can see now in bank one, I'm actually controlling um, the rate of this arpeggiator. I can change the mode as well too. And we'll leave it there for now. Cool, switch back over here and shut that off. So that's how you bring in um, instrument or note effects uh, using Atom. Setup, hit the browser button, that'll open and close it. 
use your navigation buttons, and then you use your uh, left and right buttons to dive into folders.